I just wanted to share a little bit about um, our program that we have here with Muscogee Nation. I believe within the state um, and among our tribal um, tribal um, entities that we might be one of the first organizations to have a mentoring program like ours. Uh, ours is unique, I would like to say, because we do cater to um, our tribal citizens, but also citizens of other tribal nations too. We wanted to focus on Muscogee mentors, having Muscogee students, having Muscogee um, adults, tribal citizens, upstanding citizens that would come in, work with our young people. And of course, you know, we do have many citizens, um, but not everyone is able to take that time to work with our youth. And um, so we've had a couple of uh, different things happen. But uh, before that, I did want to share um, our goal for Muscogee Mentors. It is to just support our Native youth in achieving their personal goals um, through having those positive relationships with um, our tribal citizens. And um, speaking, you know, of course, from experience, you know, growing up in rural Oklahoma, um, being Native American, at times your family are going to be the only adults within your life that you know you can go to talk to and so for many young native people that was something that we did see was a need and through our surveys and um uh, mostly our surveys that we would send out to our young people in our communities within our uh, reservation and within the tribe that was something that was needed and so that's where Muskogee mentors came from we actually started, I think they had started the planning, it was before I was here, before I came back to Oklahoma and I was in Arizona, that um, was probably 2019 um, when they started really getting our um, main core group together, our steering committee, and um, getting things planned out, getting things written down, and from it came Muskogee Mentors. We work with, um, right now, we directly work with Yafala Dormitory. And Yafala Dormitory, I don't know if you know, is, um, is a residential location in Yafala, located in McIntosh County, that our tribe actually is administration to. And so they have youth that come from all over, and these are Native youth. And so they don't have to be Muskogee citizens. Um, they do have to be uh, of, of, of a fairly recognized tribe. And so we saw that that was a need that they had, and they had spoken to about it too. So we thought we would collaborate for this past school year. And so we had our first year um, with them um, virtually for most parts. And with that, I think, you know, the youth, they got kind of used to that. But being able to log on every week and to see our mentors, and I think that was a good thing because um, being connected, even though distantly, and online, you know, um, they got to meet other upstanding tribal citizens. <laughs> and so we had citizens um, that were active service members that lived in Maryland, that was a mentor. We had um, another citizen that was uh, in the Bay Area and she was continuing on with her education. So she was a grad student. We have a PhD student that is local. And so, you know, we have all these um, mentors that stepped up and got to reach out to our youth. And, you know, for me, it was really exciting. It meant a lot. And to do that in a school setting, but also to do it in a cultural setting, because that's important, is to know um, they have similar backgrounds. They come from um, similar uh, understandings of family situations. And so, you know, for us, that is one key part to our program is um, to be culturally relative to those that we serve. And in, in a Native population, it is very important and, uh, with our program that that is something that is very much key besides, you know, working through character, community, and culture. You know, those are the three areas that we always want to touch on within our program.